Now Levac with the run, dispossessed again. Good challenge. And back to Brendan Clark. That diagonal ball to the left again. It's taken well and just got away from him, but he keeps it in. Again, Maddie Smith looks for the ball in the middle and big chance here. And he's missed it. Another huge chance for Shells to take the lead. And that was even closer than the last one. I thought it just looked like Farrell wasn't expecting it to fall to him at all. It was a poor mistake from the centre half. Pinyanka, to be fair. The club means a lot to him, and that's kind of kept him, kept him here at Tolka Park. Definitely, yeah. He's our longest serving player at the moment, so he's, he's a, a fan favourite for sure. Here's Sean Boyd. It's a good ball through. Is it a chance? It's just skimmed the post again. Sean Boyd with another chance to put Shells in front. An excellent pass and move. Good dummy from Sean Boyd to set himself up there. And Maddie Smith putting that pressure on to force it all the way back to McNicholas in the Sligo goal. And a long ball over. O'Driscoll has to try and beat him here. Sligo in. Chance for Sligo, it's an excellent finish. And credit where credit is due, it's a brilliant finish from Sligo. A bit easy. Odrisco was just outpaced there by Levac and he had a, a tidy finish too far. I thought he was going to go across Clarky and he caught him out with his going near post. But that's the danger, they, pos they possess Sligo, they're quick, they're dangerous, they have some very clinical players as you can see that I saw Levac's goal last week as well he beat a few players and took it away took, took the goal nicely and he's done something similar again tonight one ball again up and the shot picked up by Matty Smith was he offside referee says no back post here for Wilson big shot flying header and it's gone wide how has he missed that? That was a big chance for Shells to equalise right off the mark from the first attack. And that was the chance. He set himself up. You could see what he was going for. The body language said it all. Try and build something. Durban now to Gavin Malloy. Now Maddie Smith. Excellent. Now Maddie Smith again. Is there a chance here for Shelburne? So, so close again. An excellent effort. And almost, almost an equaliser. It's an excellent effort all the same. Try and break that line of Sligo Rovers. And I think Maddie Smith and Jack Moylan are perfect for that. Manny Smith has kind of struggled this second half, I think. It's going to happen to... Happen to oh, it's no. given away, and Aiden Keener slots home! An easy but good finish from Aiden Keener to make it two for Sligo Rovers. Can't give a man with that quality, a chance like that, he'll smash them up all day. Big defensive error from Sligo Rovers, or from Shelburne, and Sligo Rovers all over it through Aiden Keener. Was that missed by the referee? A full-time whistle here at Tolka Park. Shelburne nil, Sligo 2.